A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 11th November. On the front page you have, after BJP opts out, governor invites Sena. So this is regarding government formation in Maharashtra. BJP and Shiv Sena are, were in alliance, but uh, Shiv Sena insisted on 50-50 formula. It wanted even the chief minister's post for two and a half years for uh, Sena members, you know, Sena leader. So this resulted in a, a deadlock and there was no government formation for so long after the assembly elections. So BJP has accused Uddhav Thakre of Shiv Sena of disrespecting mandate for pre-poll alliance. And now, uh, you know, because BJP has opted out, the governor has invited Shiv Sena to form government. So there are four possible scenarios you can see for government formation detailed out here. Like BJP, NCP, Congress coming together or independence coming together without Congress. Then this is Ayodhya ruling. Roval meets religious leaders. So invites was have been sent out three days earlier. And now the National Security Advisor, Ajit Doval, met a group of Hindu and Muslim religious leaders and intellectuals. And, uh, you know, they discussed on the, uh, on the issue of uh, you know, the Supreme Court ruling. So, Supreme Court has allowed the construction of Ram Temple at the site where Babri Masjid stood in Ayodhya. So, a meet was held with religious leaders. And below you have former Chief Election Commissioner Shesh, Seshan dies. So this is former CEC TN Seshan who cracked the whip on money and muscle power in elections and proved a nemesis for the political parties. So he, so he has died now. He was the only one to hold the post of Chief Election Commissioner for six years from 1990 to 1996. On page 7 you have Bhima Koregaon. Two member panel gets fourth extension. The two-member commission set up by the state government of Maharashtra on the Bhima Koregaon issue, the clash which occurred, you know, on, on 1st January 2018. So it has identified those, it has to identify those responsible for it. There is an extension of three months further provided to this commission. So the Ambedkarite, Ambedkarite parties are questioning the tardy progress of this two-member commission. And this is maternal deaths on the decline report. So this is survey from 2015 to 2017. We have seen it earlier too. It reveals highest casualties in the age group of 20 to 29. You can see in case of maternal mortality death. And then below you have Gujarat government grants approval for CNG port terminal at Bhavnagar. So Gujarat government... Uh, you know, we will set up this CNG terminal with a proposed investment of 1,900 crore rupees. So, you know, the state government really said the facility approval for which has been given by the Gujarat Infrastructure Development Board as such, headed by Chief Minister of Gujarat himself, Vijay Rupani, it would, it would be world's first CNG port terminal. On page 8, you have International Bookie Arrested. So, this is... Uh, the Central Crime Branch, which has arrested Sayam, he is an international bookie who had fled to West Indies after the Karnataka Premier League batting scandal, and uh, now he has been arrested. And here you have all eyes on Supreme Court verdict on disqualified Karnataka MLAs. So, you know, the Election Commission announced in the enforcement of Model Code of Conduct for Karnataka. So, 15 Assembly constituencies in Karnataka where by elections are scheduled. On December 5, now all eyes are on Supreme Court, which is going to give its verdict on the on the petition of 17 disqualified MLAs of Congress and Janata Dal Secular in Karnataka. So it will decide how the you know, whether they are disqualified or whether they can fight contest the seats which have fallen vacant because of their disqualification or not. Then below you have. Now even trees have QR codes. So you know, now as the world is going digital, it says people lack the time to read books and process the information they contain. Hence, botany department as such in, uh, in Vijayawada as such has decided to exploit the growing platform for a unique purpose. 
it has given QR codes to please. So students as such in the campus of the college have seen using their phones not to play games or take selfies but to scan QR codes which are hung on the tree for its information. So if you scan the QR code you will get the information about that tree. So this is an initiative which has been taken at uh, Vijayawada uh, co uh, college here you can see it is uh, PB Siddharth College of Arts and Science. On page 9 you have Bulbul leaves a trail of destruction. So this is regarding cyclone Bulbul which we have discussed have affected Odisha and West Bengal and Mekal and fall even in Bangladesh. So here it is a trail of destruction which it has left you can see. 1.78 lakh people have been moved to relief camps in 9 places. This is in West Bengal. Then here you have study modes lowering the age of consent. So new study calls for a need to distinguish between self-arranged marriages among older adolescents and former child marriages to protect teens from social stigma, parent backlash and primitive action. So this is what this report says. Why girls run away to marry, adolescent fatalities and social legal responses in India. So this is based on a qualitative study of 15 girls aged 15 to 20 who have been in consensual romantic relationships. Some of, some of these resulted in self-arranged marriages. But the participants, you know, they were in, not in the age group at, you know, which allowed for them to get married. So, the study says that they should, the age of consent should be lowered. So, age of consent, you know, as such, which is there presently, is uh, for boys it is 18 and for girls it is 16. Then below you have center gets responses on draft social security code. So draft code on social security which subsumes eight existing laws covering provident fund, maternity benefits and pensions. You know it's been worked upon and a recent round of public consultations were also held on this. So a draft of the social security code is one of the four codes that are part of the center's labor reforms agenda. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Peace and Justice. So this is regarding the Supreme Court ruling on Ram Temple. It says, in paving the way for a Ram Temple in Ayodhya, Supreme Court prioritized communal harmony over all else. So this was how peace could prevail. And the lead article is a reward for egregious, egregious violations. So this is regarding the Ayodhya judgment allow again. It says a balance sheet would show that more has been lost than retrieved in the Ayodhya judgment. So, the years which have been lost, the animosity among religions which we have seen over the years. And this is after RCP reticence, need for reform recalibration. So, we have seen how we have opted out of RCP and how it highlights that we need to reform our economy. India needs to prepare for next round of structural reforms to join global value chain and unleash manufacturing. Then on the opet page you have no more pro-India voices in the valley. So it is said those in Kashmir who once took on the separatists in their midst now stand betrayed in silence. Because of the curves and restrictions in Jammu and Kashmir imposed as such. Then this is renovate, not rebuild. So the features of Parliament House demonstrate the secular nature of the Republic. So central government is considering either redeveloping Parliament House or building a new structure. So this article says that it should be renovated, not rebuilt. On page 12 you have Supreme Court not to entertain claims against actions of Mughals. So for recourse against ancient rulers, law is not the answer. So this is what the Supreme Court has clarified. That actions of Mughal emperors against Hindu places of worship as such will not be entertained. Uh, it has claimed so, the Supreme Court has mentioned so in its Ayodhya verdict. And this is ruins don't always indicate demolition. So this is what Supreme Court has observed. So Archaeological Survey of India report merely says mosques were not built on vacant land. So ruins of ancient religious structures under existing building does not always indicate that it was demolished by unfriendly powers. 
on page 13 you have indian seafarers abandoned and adrift on land so it says well trained and sought after sailors in distress are getting entangled in illegal operations of owners and family pursue cases abroad so you know so number of indian seafarers have grown 1.5 times between 2013 and 2018 so there are many seafarers employed and these sailors now they are suffering you know merchant marine profession as such it is risky and the problems which they face are illegal traveling through their waters or even oil smuggling etc so illegal operations of owners affect these well trained and sought after sailors and below you have continuation of the front page uh, news regarding uh, tn session the former chief election commissioner who passed away so his tenure was very important with respect to electoral reforms so this is important on international page you have bolivia's president agrees to new polls after damning os study os audit so this is bolivia the south american country so the president here has agreed evo morales he has agreed to hold a new presidential election after an audit of the disputed october 20 vote found serious irregularities so pressure mounted on the leftist leader to step down so he has agreed for a new polls so report found clear manipulations in october 20 elections which were won by evo morales and this is regarding elections in afghanistan to which we have been discussing and uh, This election in Spain that is not fine. Hong Kong balance. The important news here is this Jordan to retake lands leased by Israel. So Jordan King Abdullah II has announced that Gumar and Al Bakar Al Bakara's return to full sovereignty would be dealt with. So it has pulled out. Jordan has pulled out a 20-year-old landmark agreement that allowed Israeli farmers to cultivate in these two pieces of agricultural land that was leased by Israel. So this is 1994 Jordan Israel peace treaty, but now Jordan has pulled out of this treaty. Then on Mondays on business page you have money wise coverage, so that is that can be skipped. And even the last page has sports related news. So these were the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. Thank you.